Most people in America are familiar with the concept of cybercrime. Everybody knows that an individual only has the right to their telephone and their computer, presuming, of course, that the individual is over the age of majority and paying for that computer or receive that computer as a gift or paying for their cell phone, right? So that sort of establishes who owns it, but usually it's the name that owns it, unless, of course, it's secondhand. And secondhand computers do exist in our world today. People do get old computers, sell their, or get new computers. I apologize. People get old computers. People buy new computers. People sell their old computers. They give them away. They help people like me who are impoverished. And even one time, a church man loaned me his computer for a little while. And maybe he was going to gift it to me, but I basically ended up giving it back to him because someone kept cyber hacking me. And it was getting offensive. It was also more than obvious that it was not someone in the FBI, although it might have been, but it was definitely someone who was local and someone at the sheriff level, and they shouldn't be doing that. And that is offensive. We see more and more growing in the news that people are beginning to feel threatened and begin threatening police officers. The truth is that people are tired of cybercrime. They are tired of identity theft. They are tired of hearing about their friends and families being abused by technology and technologists and just young people who have no ethics or any professional code of conduct that is expected for them on the job in companies that offer the new concept from the president and vice president of a fully accessible Wi-Fi network. It doesn't always cover whether or not we're talking about free networks or paid networks, but what he's saying is affordable networks. Well, free is affordable. And the truth is that your employees are usually not the people who are fully responsible for monitoring the network. And usually local employees are not responsible at all for monitoring a nationally produced and invested and installed with a major corporation, probably investment, in the networks that run the websites locally or nationally so you can find a store anywhere in the land. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm saying this is a corporate level decision. This is an executive level decision. This is a technology, information technology department type sort of decision. It is not some little cyber geese, you know, 20 minutes of his work time decision to be monitoring anyone's computer usage of your Wi-Fi network. That is not usually a part of their job description. And it's highly foolish, incredibly inappropriate for you to do that. A 20-year-old has virtually no life experience in the world of knowing what goes on for people in their public business or private lives. If you're offering free Wi-Fi, then it's considered free. And most people are learning that free Wi-Fi means free Wi-Fi. And most people do not always take the advantage of reading the releases of being able to use Wi-Fi for two reasons. That there's kind of a corporate standard across America that says you may use it generally speaking any like as long as you're not using it or abusing it with porn and other things that would be inappropriate for our business image. Now, by having said that, there are some companies that feel they have the right to monitor that, but my encouragement for them is that they're simply monitoring it for the data of how it's utilized to provide that to the government, to provide that to their ISP, to provide that to their company to know, okay, they're looking at us for this product, but they might be looking over here just to double check a price elsewhere because maybe we don't have the best price in town because we don't have the same type of business relationship that the other company does. But we, of course, have to be sort of <coughs> careful in how we utilize that information because we don't have the right to go in and demand to some company that, that we should get the same deal as some other company because we don't really know what the deals and the terms are and we don't have the relationships that the other company does and maybe a company decided to take a hit on a product because they're timing it out or a new product is coming in and they get the preference because they sell more of it you know there's a lot of relationships in the world that we have to really understand not at all we have to get our low level employees and i hate to say it but our associate employees level people to recognize where their boundaries and their job begins and ends. And even local supervisors, even local management don't have the right to make that call. What we do know is that there are people who do sit outside of shops and use a company's Wi-Fi. They're not even in the store. They're sitting in their car and they're using it to not abuse it, just to take advantage of the fact that it's free Wi-Fi and they don't want to use their minutes for it that they have other projects, they have other things to do. Any salesman does this across America and that is true. That if he doesn't have to hook his computer to his phone like I used to do and can use a free Wi-Fi network, he might risk it and do it. But he's also presuming that the employees of a company where he's supporting with his dollars 
um, for his Panera sandwich or his Starbucks coffee or whatever are not doing that. But we also are making the presumption that local law enforcement aren't practicing their cyber hacking skills on our computers or in our home. What I have learned in one community in the state that I came from that some police officers are given license apparently to use your Wi-Fi network, which means they're using your minutes to do whatever the hell they want to. And I find that incredibly offensive because what it could mean is that I, it's sort of like that um, one film, and I'm trying to remember the name of it, that was this really cool military kind of uh, police show, and I can't even remember the, remember the actor, but his name is pictured right in my mind. But basically, he was flying this special stealth helicopter through the communities to try to protect uh, a really important, like, kind of major city. It might have been like Los Angeles or, or, or something like that. Hollywood, uh, for protecting people where crime is really, you know, a lot higher, unfortunately, um, just based on the, the level of prosperity that's there and the level of poverty that's there. But anyway, it's sort of this amazing thing, but it's, it's sort of like saying, and there was sort of a funny scene of that, but... Uh, and a sort of depressing scene of that. I guess my point is that we don't need some local officer who's curious about your life prying through your network and looking through your video camera at your life, at your home, at your bedroom, at your... You know what I'm saying? We don't need that. But we also don't need little local people trying to get access your bank accounts and see how much is in it or take a hold of your computer like what happened to me yesterday where all my fonts went disappearing off my computer. Stuff that I had downloaded and taken time to do. What the hell happened? I didn't allow them to do that. I'm trying to work on a design for someone and all my fonts are gone. Now, was I working on the design for someone for profit? No, I was working on the design for a particular page for a show, but it doesn't matter. The point is that we do not have the right to allow our employees ever to do that. And that has to be a part of professional training. And I know there's going to be companies that don't like that because it makes them more liable. It doesn't. It makes your company have the right to have their cell phone information so that if you're ever given a tip that something like that is happening, you are number one responsible for checking your own people before you presume that some old codger or some woman or some man or some child who's bringing it to your attention is lying to you.